Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. You are now watching SA Today with me, Unati Bagyashe. Of course, let's take you now to one of our top stories this afternoon. Over 500 structures have been destroyed due to strong winds in the Strand and Helderberg areas. Cape Town officials say more than 30 power outages have also been reported across the various areas in the metro with more than 50 millimeters of rain expected in the region. Today, officials say disaster management teams are on high alert while mopping up operations continue. SABC News reporter Vanessa Puna and video journalist Clinton Self have more for us. Humanitarian aid organizations are on the ground to assist residents affected by gale force winds overnight as well as heavy rainfall expected for the duration of today. Uh, we do know that city officials are on the ground doing assessments of storm damage and assisting uh, in various uh, areas such as their parks and recreation. Uh, they are out to clear debris after uh, heavy rains as well as uh, strong winds overnight. I'm joined now by Alisa Blay from the Gift of the Givers. We are at the Numza community center. Ali, very warm good day to you. Earlier on you were telling me that you've been inundated with calls for help uh, from areas across Cape Town, across the metro, uh, the, the Winelands area, as well as uh, on the Cape Flats and yet Numzama, you're also assisting. Can you tell us, um, you know, what the need is of communities at this stage and also the areas where you are deploying um, your teams today? Thank you, Vanessa. The calls that are coming in from yesterday, late afternoon, when we were deployed to Somerset West, the area called Donkerbos, when strong winds brought down trees that fell on informal settlements, close to 20 homes were severely affected there. People had to be evacuated. Simultaneously, we were busy in the Kayamandi informal settlement. As you know, a number of structures burnt out. That people had to be evacuated. And by then, we could see the winds are intensifying. This morning from 1 a.m., we received calls from the Numzamo, where we are at now, La Wantle, uh, various areas around the Drakenstein areas, Smarty Town, um, uh, Wellington, and then um, areas going up to the Overberg area started reaching out to us as well. So we have we displaced, we, we, we placed teams in various areas on the, in the, on the Western Cape Metropole. We have one team set out along the N1, tackling the Drakenstein. We have one team here on the N2, moving from Numzamo down. And then we have one team uh, focused on the townships in the Cape Metropole, areas like Kailicha, um, Wallace Dean, that has also reached out to us with a number of structures affected. Ali, we know at this stage we have, we've seen some rain, but not so much rainfall yet. But there are um, expectations that more rain will still be experienced in this region um, overnight and into tomorrow. Uh, what is the need of the communities at this stage? Of course, we know some structures we've seen that have been completely destroyed. Um, people saying they need building materials. So what is the need of communities affected by this um, inclement weather? Most of them lost all their belongings. It's completely soaking wet. Uh, they are being currently they, they're busy housed at um, community halls like the one here behind me. We know in other areas they're opening up community halls, churches as well. Uh, the main concern is the safety is number one. Thereafter, the, the humanitarian needs in terms of blankets, uh, blankets, hot meals, uh, personal hygiene items which we will be providing. And then, of course, once the weather uh, subsides, they would need some building material to rebuild their homes. But we could see the extent of damages is huge. And with, uh, as you correctly said, the rains are not coming down 100% yet, but there is uh, rain predicted for later on in terms of 100 mils of rain predicted. Um, so it will be intensifying over the next 24 hours. Um, it will be better if people uh, be evacuated, giving the warnings for and, and then and, and to prevent the loss of life. As we know this morning, there was a loss of a life in the Paul area where a tree fell over someone. Thank God schools are closed. The situation could have been much worse. Ali, thank you so much for the update. Of course, the, uh, the gift of the givers assisting uh, communities like the Numzamo community here behind me. Of course, if I can just show you, um, residents are uh, queuing uh, at this community hall, which has been opened to assist those people who have lost uh, their structures. Uh, we understand from Cape Town Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis that over 500 structures have been completely destroyed in the Haldeberg region and also telling us uh, that up to 30 areas um, or rather 30 reports of electricity and power outages across uh, the Cape Metro saying that teams are hard at work uh, but that the heavy winds are uh, hampering their efforts because their cherry pickers cannot go up. Of course the cherry pickers, those crane-like vehicles um, for people to or for, for staff members to fix the overhead cables. So just asking and appealing to residents for patience. And then also with more rain on the cars for the rest of the day as well as tomorrow um, uh, drivers, motorists are urged to be extremely cautious because the number of roads uh, will be flooded. Some uh, intersections already at this point in time have been flooded 
and then um, the city of course saying that they will make sure that all the teams are out and about to assist those residents who may find themselves in distress as the inclement weather continues. All right, uh, that's uh, Vanessa Puna there for us.